Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and welcome to the Pacific Northwest. Today, I'm at NW Green Homes in Chehalis, Washington, and we're gonna take a tour of this remarkable, huge triple wide I found built by Palm Harbor Homes. I hope you're ready for a home tour. Let's go. Thanks for spending some time with me here in beautiful Chehalish, Washington. Today, folks, we are taking a look at another beautiful home. This one's built by Palm Harbor. And if you just take a look at this exterior for a moment, you see the different types of siding, plenty of windows, a gorgeous dormer and a front door landing there. Also here, as you take a look at the side, you have that door there. Just imagine your garage attached to this home. That would be great. But what we're looking at is the Timber Ridge. This comes from the 5000 series and it's built by Palm Harbor Homes. Now this home in particular is a three bed, two and a half bath and it sits at 2,338 square feet. The dimensions of this home is a 60 by 40 and the starting price for a home like this is just around $285,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Welcome to the interior of this huge and gorgeous triple wide built by Palm Harbor Homes. As we walk in and I try to shut the front door, you see nothing but spaciousness, openness, and a beautiful living room and dining room. We're going to check out in a second. But first, let's take a look at this coat closet right here next to the front door. And as you see, you have a good amount of room in here, a wooden rod for your coats and a wooden shelf which is pretty darn cool and we're going to spin around and take a look at this house but first do me a favor everybody and hit that like button and while you're at it hit that subscribe button and the notification bell that way you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted and you'll be able to catch up to where's will across the u.s and as we walk in here to this beautiful home. We're in the great room right now. And the size of this great room or living room is 26 feet 2 inches by 20 feet 4 inches. That is plenty of room. A nice coffered ceiling right there leading up to the outside. And just like I said, plenty and plenty of room here. Even the dining room right here in the corner is 12 feet 8 inches by 7 feet 5 inches. To me, that is an absolute great amount of roof for any size kitchen table that you might have and I mean those windows right there you just open those up and let that light flood on in I'll tell you what and spinning around here we're gonna go into this beautiful kitchen and I love the wood tone that they're using for this home what do you think let me know in the comments below but what I see so far is a nice natural wood tone a great uh, press countertop, a gorgeous apron sink right here with that pull down faucet, plenty of uh, electrical outlets everywhere, and that eating counter over there, that can at least sit like four people. <laughs> Spinning around over here, you see this little island that they have in the middle here. Um, I like it, it's not too big, it's not too cumbersome, it's not really um, in the way. It would be a nice centerpiece for like cooking if you have like a big meal or, or things like that. So I like that. And as you see in this home, you have the stainless steel appliance package. Um, it looks great with the color scheme. And right behind this door, we have a pantry. Plenty, plenty of room for all of your cereals, cans, and otherwise. I'll tell you, that's looking nice. And what I do like is that backsplash, that dark backsplash that really kind of pops this kitchen it looks really nice you know coming over here taking a look plenty and plenty of storage um, the difference in that backsplash behind the uh, the stove is pretty cool I like that little change in color as well adjustable shelves soft closed cabinets and drawers and I'm just digging this kitchen this kitchen to me seems like it's actually the heart of the home because it, it brings you you know, as we go through this home, you'll see that this is right in the middle. So this is truly, you know, heart of the home. This is a really nice kitchen. Let's take a look inside here and see great construction, adjustable shelves. You can't go wrong. That's real wood, real wood. It's 
pretty darn nice. And, you know, earlier I was saying something about um, this version. This version is a three bed, two bath. They also have the four bed, three bath version um, that is at the end of the video. That's the floor plan card that I have. But like I said, this is a version of that and this being the three bed. And here's the big difference. When we walk in to the family room or play room, um, this room in particular is 20 feet 8 inches by 10 feet 3 inches with a beautiful entertainment center. But if you were to make this the four bedroom model, this room would be kind of cut in half and half of it would be made a, a fourth bedroom. But this room right here is plenty of space and like I said, a beautiful entertainment center with a f electric fireplace, sh built in shelving, a nice dark wood tone and those barn doors to shut it up, you know, to shut the TV and open up the, uh, the cabinetry on the side there, or shelves really, not really cabinetry, but you see right there, some shelves. That is really nice looking. I mean, you don't have to go out and find an entertainment center. This is all just built in. And all of the, uh, the plugins are actually already in the wall. So that's really nice. See, this room is huge. This is, what would you do with this room? Let me know what you, what you would do You know, in the comments below. And now let's go take a look at the, the first uh, guest room of the house. And uh, this room we're walking into is 9 feet 10 inches by 11 feet 5 inches. I love that, um, that what is that called, everybody, right there by the window? I love that seating area. I just, I'm digging that. What is that called? Let me know in the comments. And then, like I said, real wood. That is a knot, you know, in this wood. And that's the whole door. It's not hollow. It's real wood. And in here, we have a great big size closet. I can tell you that. Um, and good. Just, I love, I love that look. It's very woodsy. Very woodsy. I like it. Another look at the uh, the playroom here. We're going to come through the half bath right here. And this, of course, is right in between uh, the playroom and the utility room. And in here we have a nice bit of room for a half bath. Um, really nice. And then we're going to spin... That's been walk right on through and go into the utility room like I was saying now. Um, Another thing with this floor plan is if you were going to get the four bedroom, this actually, this room shrinks up a little bit and that that half bath becomes a full bath. And as we spin around, you see there's your electrical box. This utility mudroom is huge. And behind this door, we have your air conditioning unit right there, right in the center of the home to efficiently cool this entire home, I could say. Plenty of room, of course, for your side by side. Good construction all the way through this house. Real wood, soft clothes, loving it. There's that door. Now you can build that garage there. Oh, that would be great. Um, that would make this house 10 times better looking on the exterior and it's already beautiful. Right there, you see, is your water heater. Easy access, loving that, appreciate that. And I think a lot of people do. So that's cool. And like I was saying, right there where those chairs were, you could put some freezers, another fridge, huge utility room, huge mud room. Um, and now we're going to take a look at the full guest bath. And we have the single vanity with a nice little backsplash, the same mirror as the other room over there, the other guest bath, half bath. And in here we have an oversized uh, tub shower combo. That is a nice tub. Big, spacious, I like it. Nice, this is a great looking guest bath. Elongated um, commodes, water saving of course. Looking nice, coming back out of here. We're gonna keep going on with the tour and check out the second guest room. This guest room is bigger than the last one, being 12 feet, eight inches by 10 feet. Uh, more than ample room. The registers throughout this home are on are in the floor. Just to let you know that. And let's take a look at 
the closet real quick before we leave this guest room. And it's looking really darn nice. Good construction. Wooden shelves. Appreciate it. Loving it. This is a nice home so far. If you want to know more about this home, you know, the options, the features, like I was saying, the different floor plans, there's a link in the description below. Click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can take a 3D tour, see some more photos, see some more videos, but most importantly, you know, get that pricing directly from a retailer near you. And as we look at this coffered ceiling, a better look, that is just a gorgeous design feature that I personally like. And now on the other side of the home, we're going to walk on into the primary area. Now I say area because the first area that we're going to walk in is what is called the primary retreat. Now this area right here is 12 feet 9 inches by 14 inches. And to me, it's like a room all by itself. You know, what would you do with this room? Personally, this would probably be my little uh, personal office right off of my uh, primary bedroom. What would you do with a, a room like this? This is just a nice addition, a nice piece. And now we're gonna go take a look at the primary. So like I said, that's a room all by itself. And now the primary room is 12 feet, 11 inches by 14 feet and we take a look at this wall here and I'm loving the transom windows the two big windows on the side just letting all of that you know light in depending on where you put this house oh that would be gorgeous in the morning or even in the evening that would be just amazing um, and now let's take a look at the primary closet and this is just another huge space that you have plenty of room to store stuff with. I mean, plenty of uh, coat rods, plenty of, you know, plenty of wooden shelf up there. And this closet's just rather big all by itself. Imagine what you could store in here. Nice. All right, here, taking a look. You have those, uh, those barn doors, but I do believe that is an option that you could change, you know, um, leading into this room. So just to let you know that, and as we walk into the primary bath, you see your double vanities, um, a different backsplash, and even a different countertop in this restroom compared to the other ones, which is cool. Coming over here, taking a look at this walk-in shower. Uh, beautiful tile work, great design. Um, I'm just going to soak it in for a second. It's really nice. Not too high of a step to get in. Windows right there. That is just nice. I like that. You have your towel hooks inside of the shower. Like I said, not too much of a uh, lip to walk into, so it's, it's pretty safe. Not too high. That is where your toilet is sitting in the primary bath. We have a drawer bank in the middle, plenty of space to store stuff underneath. Nice window letting that uh, wind and light in. And let's take a look at behind this door and see that it is a linen closet with plenty of room. That's all I have to say about this home is it is spacious and very, very spacious. I mean, you can fit a lot in, in this home. I mean, and at three bedrooms, this, this home is more built for space than storage. So there's a whole lot of open space, I would think, in this home. But, you know, I dig this home. I enjoyed walking through it. I hope you did, too. Um, and, hey, you know, we're off and running off to the next home tour. So... Thank you for joining me today again, everyone. Until next time I see you, I hope you live smarter, you choose manufacture, and have some wonderful days. And of course, travel easy. We'll see you next time, everyone.